a very good evening friends so now we will be dealing with your uh, second video in which will which are going to strengthen your shoulder griddle okay so what will be the learning outcomes in this video uh, the number one is your overview once again i will just give an overview of the shoulder griddle which you already know uh, secondly i'll tell you the importance of strengthening your shoulder griddle so why we are strengthening with these exercises so these exercises are mainly focused on strengthening of your shoulder griddle so why we are doing that so what is the importance and the third one is your finally the exercises which will definitely help you to stabilize your shoulder griddle so coming to the next one so the overview so you now you all know what is a scapula uh, sorry what is your shoulder griddle so basically scapula and your clavicle clavicle forms shoulder griddle right so it is a system uh, that act as a foundation <coughs> for your shoulder joint so it is your basically base <coughs> sorry so stronger the base better is the building you all know so similarly if you have a good strong stabilized shoulder griddle that will definitely help you to have smooth efficient good range of movements at shoulder joint <coughs> okay so stronger the shoulder griddle more efficient and safer are the movements at the shoulder joint so this is the main aim of these exercises to stabilize your shoulder griddle to stabilize the muscles which control which moves your shoulder griddle okay so exercise targeting this area can make your shoulder griddle stronger hence <coughs> strong support system for your shoulder joint because it is your socket always remember that shoulder joint is a ball and socket joint okay the humerus is your basically ball the head of the humerus is your ball and the socket is provided by scapula which is a system of, which is one of the bone of shoulder girdle so this socket should be there always so that you can perform your movements by shoulder and it should be at a proper form proper position and this position to your sh shoulder griddle or in other words to the scapula is provided by shoulder griddle muscles and you have to stabilize them so that it always remain at a perfect position in the stabilized way so that you can move your shoulder or, or the upper extremities in a efficient way okay so this is the overview now what is the importance of strengthening now these are the muscles i have already discussed in the uh, earlier video so these are both posteriorly and and anteriorly uh, these muscles uh, basically helps in the movement of scapula and hence clavicles so the whole shoulder girdle is controlled by these muscles right so any weakness uh, on these uh, in any of these muscles could affect significantly uh, your scapula movement so if you have some weakness in any of these muscles or if you don't strengthen strengthen them so that could lead to problems in the movement of your scapula and scapula is your socket and if so socket is not moving properly you don't you won't have good movement at your shoulder joint right so that can affect your shoulder joint movements and injury can also happen so having poor patterns of or deflect in muscle strength at the scapula could lead to pain injury in the elbow instability uncoordinated movements so it is very essential to stabilize these muscles so that you can strengthen your scapula your shoulder griddle so that you can provide good base for your shoulder joint okay your upper body strength banks heavily on the stability that is provided by these scapular muscles so these muscles will stabilize your scapula and clavicle all or in other words they they are going to stabilize your shoulder griddle so that is going to help you uh in efficient movements uh, at your shoulder joint in case you have weakness in your shoulder core or in shoulder griddle or you are not using uh, the stronger the larger muscles which are there to support your scapula then you will be using your smaller muscle and that could definitely lead, lead to overuse of those smaller muscles uh, that are found in extremities and that could definitely lead to um, injuries which are very popular like golfer uh, golfer elbow tennis elbow so these are the results these injuries happen in the sports when athletes don't focus on the scapula or shoulder griddle they don't work do workout to stabilize these muscles so that they can 
stabilize their scapulae right so that leads to overuse of smaller muscles and leading to these kind of abnormalities so to prevent these injuries and to increase your performance you have to focus on the shoulder griddle muscles so this is the video where you will get to know what are the exercises which are going to focus on this theme now i'm coming to the exercises so first number one exercise you are standing rows and you need a resistance band or resistance tube to do that and what you have to do it's very simple exercises the, so this is a posture st stand straight in facing the anchor point just you have to stand straight in front of your uh, band resistance band and it should be up to this chest level and uh, slightly bend your knees slightly bend should be there and a little bit slight rotation at the pelvic little bit not too much to keep yourself from falling forward right so this is the posture now second keep your scapulae together throughout the exercises right this and pull the bands this way so that your uh, bands towards your until your elbows reach past your shoulders see these elbows should reach past your shoulders up to this point you should bring these stretchings up to this point and uh, hold this position for a second and then slowly return to the original position so this exercise will strengthen your scapular muscles for an improved posture uh, as well as scapular positioning. Uh, for this exercise, you will need to perform uh, two sets of uh, 10 repetitions at least. Uh, so this is one of the very simple exercises because these muscles are very important uh, with regard to posture also. If you have some uh, posterior weaker muscles uh, like person who uh, regularly working on the computer or um, bowing their head uh, down uh, anteriorly, uh, so that could lead to tightening or uh, poor, poor uh, response by these muscles. So that could lead to kyphosis, lordosis. There are a lot of posture problems which are initiated or originated due to lack of stabilized scapula or lack of uh, strength in these muscles. So these are very important exercises to stabilize your shoulder griddle. Okay. So this is number one. Uh, now coming to the next one. So we call it a bilat bilateral external rotation very simple exercise again you having band in your hands stand up straight with the both uh, band both hands at waist level see and keep the elbows bent elbow should be bent shoulder back and the scapulae closed now what you have to do keep your elbows close to your body so there should be not much difference it should uh, the elbow should be closer to your body okay and stretch the band with both the hands so with the hands you have to do the movement pause for a at least one second at the top position so when you are stretching it this is the top position at which you are uh, uh, looking at this picture pause for one second at this position keeping your scapula close throughout and this uh, exercise will uh, strengthen to uh, will your rotator cuffs so these are lying here which will which are basically stabilizer muscles uh, because a lot of injuries happen on this area at the acromion process uh, because you have got shoulder pushes and all that in hockey and many games so most of the times a lot of injuries we uh, i've told you will get at this joint ac joint acromion uh, clavicular joint and instead of sc joint which is like which is like which lies here so to stabilize that we have rotator cuff muscles here so this exercise is going to stabilize uh, make them more uh, strengthen these rotator cuff muscles and in other words it will also help you to stabilize your uh, basically scapula and hence your shoulder griddle so third one is your advanced plank uh, advanced plank with protection so you have to protract uh, protract your uh, your basically scapulas so what is the procedure just face down in a push-up position bring your elbows down and brace your core like this this is the first one then bring your glutes upward just move upward uh, hanging from the pelvic right like this now take a heavy breath in and pull your belly towards your spine as you breathe out keep the tension on the scapulae muscles throughout so this will going to activate your serratus anterior muscle which is lying here and here and do 10 reps holding for about three seconds each time you push your arms away so this is a very good exercises to strengthen your serratus anterior one of the key muscle for uh, your scapula movement 
Now these are very good exercises and very easy to do. I T Y W. Basically, you have to make these uh, I T Y and W alphabets. Uh, just you have to lay down, uh, lay face down with the belly flat on the floor, and make this I. Then slightly raise your both the hands a few inches above the floor and form these letters with your arms. Right. Now he's going to make. Uh, in the uh, here he is making T then again raise them to make your Y and then try to prevent uh, your hands and elbows from touching the floor don't touch uh, your hands to the floor and they should be in the air hand should be in the air so that you can work your uh, shoulder girdle muscles right and form these uh, letters and uh, complete two to three sets for 15 seconds each in all of these four positions so this is going to again strengthen your scapular muscles or shoulder girdle muscles now this is scapular push-ups uh, very easy to do stand up straight in front of a wall like this and press your hands at least shoulder width okay so the width should be at least shoulder width apart against the wall right then bring your chest closer to the wall by bringing your scapula together hold the press position and feel your back trapezius and all that will get activated and uh, rhomboids uh, for a second and repeat so complete two to three sets of 15 to 20 repetitions and that are going to stabilize your posterior muscles which move your scapula so it is very easy and a good exercise to posterior for the posterior muscles of scapula then we have advanced stability ball push-ups so in this uh, you need this ball gym ball and spread your feet uh, at about shoulder width and then place both hands on the ball like this brace your core as well as your arms to keep yourself balanced on the top of the ball press down for a push-up pause at the bottom as your chest touch the ball and rise up so this is the key just you have to touch your chest to this ball and then rise up and this is going to again uh, focus on all your interior muscles as well as to some extent on the back on posterior muscles and uh, do sets of 10 repetitions at uh, body weight basically two sets are enough uh, for this exercises for this exercise basically now this one another exercise prone raw scapular stabilization exercises so what you have to do you have to lay down on a table flat with your uh, arm one arm dropped over the side like this then lift the shoulder by contracting the back muscles you now you have to lift your arm up lift your shoulder up by contracting the back muscles so basically lift your hand until your elbow reaches past your back and hold the position at least one second so so this is the back now lift your arm till you reach here right at this position see uh, lift your hand until your elbow reaches past your back so this is your back so elbow should move a little bit above up to that point you have to stretch pause for one second and then again repeat the motion uh, repeat this motion for a maximum of 8 to 15 uh, repetitions and um, one second pause after, at each moment, right? So this is again going to stabilize your scapular muscles. Then we have prone T scapular stabilization. So here again, this is the similar to early one. Here you have to use uh, lay down on the flat and you are you will be using both the hands. Lift both shoulders, contracting the back muscles at scapula. That is a similar exercise, just you have to uh, use both the shoulders. So again, uh, in the team form, you are making T. So this is like this. So this is T will be formed. And again, again, it is going to stabilize your scapula, scapular muscles. Do it for maximum of 8 to 15 repetitions, giving one second pause. Pull downs is another good exercise which will focus uh, on your scapular muscles or the shoulder girdle muscles. Sit on the edge of a chair uh, with your back straight. Back should be straight like this and uh, your scapula closed. Uh, then pull your back, uh, pull your shoulders back and pull each end of band with your elbows slightly bent post to your knees. So you have to bring these bands till post your knees and hold the position for a second or so slowly return to the original position so again this uh, pull down will focus on your scapular muscles do this motion for 8 to 12 times and then this is uh, the last exercises of this session uh, very easy on the chair you can do it shoulder blade squeeze 
so in in a day to day time when you are working and you can do it on your chair on your working chair very easy to do and it will basically squeeze your shoulder blade or and help you to strengthen your scapula muscles on a sitting or a standing position bring your shoulders back neck straight and entire back in the neutral position so this is the first posture then slightly bend the elbows like this and pull towards your back and close to your torso in this way feel the muscles on your upper back contract and loosen up you return to your original position so this is the way you have to move your this way and then again this way and you will have good workout of your scapular muscles so these are the some of the exercises which is uh, which are very important and definitely they will help you to stabilize your scapula so what is the whole purpose one uh, in the two lines now i'm going to summarize these so doing st scapular stabilization exercises these exercises can be a great way to regain the normal control and use of your arm after experiencing shoulder injury or even surgery so in the case of injuries uh, in the rehabilitation process and all that these kind of uh, exercises uh, are recommended so that your uh, scapula becomes again working in a good way St again start working in a good way in a safer way in an efficient way so that you your shoulder movements become more efficient and otherwise also it is, these are the very good exercises to stabilize your uh, scapular muscles so you can perform these exercises a few times a week to regain appropriate strength and postural control of your shoulder to potentially prevent you from future complications of the injuries so stabilizing your scap uh, shoulder griddle will definitely help you to have a very efficient or and safe movements at your shoulder joint always keep in mind ball and socket joint and shoulder is very unstable it can it can um, have injuries very easily so to make it um, safer you need to have good base and good base is provided by shoulder griddle uh, and muscles are responsible for the movement of these and you have to strengthen these muscles so that you can stabilize your shoulder griddle thank you very much